Good morning. Robert Davis back here with you. Hey, this morning we're going to do a tutorial on um, Fire DAC in Delphi. And uh, I've been doing some exploring and some experimenting. And we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do is go over here to Interbrace Console and show you the database that it's called test IB and the tables and uh, we're going to use test auto ink so let's go to Delphi and we'll create a new VCL application and we're going to go to tools fire DAC explorer now this is where you can set connection parameters for and if, as you notice there's no test ib on the connection definition so we'll make one connection definition set the uh, driver id to uh, where is it? Ah, in a race. And the database will um, drill down for this. And it's on my B drive. Open. And we can set the username. Let's see. Uh, and server one two seven. Zero point zero point one port. Um, gotta look at my notes here. The port number, I have so many. And that's an SQL. Hmm. Hang on. Oh, found it. The uh, port number is 3050. And let's see, do we have anything else we need to? They're all in now. And so we should rename this to test. IB and let's open this apply changes yes oh my login's wrong just a minute turn it out I had the wrong login username Okay, and we'll double click here, apply, and then expand this, and here we go, here's our tables, so, let's see, here's our test auto link, okay, now, we can close this, it's our Connection to the database is set up for Fire Deck, and we'll expand this a little bit. And we'll go to Fire Deck over here and put a connection and a table. <clears throat> So, 
and the connection. Let's see. That needs to be the connection definition name here. And you look and see it has all of them registered. And here's our test ID down here. And we'll click on this. You see the connection is set automatically. And we'll go to table name. Okay. Test auto ink. And then right click, go to fields editor, add all fields, and we'll select all and drag and drop these right about here and move it down a little bit because we need room for our DB navigator. That's fine. And we'll set this width to be 264. And our DB image, we'll set this width to 264. And the height to 264. So it's a square image. Select these, drag them over, go over here and get a um, to the component palette and get a data control of DB Navigator. Put that up here. That's fine for now. And let's see, can we connect to this table? Yes. Turn that off. Um, Got to select the DB Navigator and assign is data source, which is data source one. Okay, and we'll tighten this up a little bit. If I can do it. And um, let's double click on this and say FD, oop, FD table open. Oh, let's use active. And let's run this. Uh, let's do new folder. We'll say enter base test. Double click on this and we'll say this is you main and we'll say ink. there we go check it out so we have these records in here. Uh, 
There's my old friend Tom Veracek. I spelled his name wrong. He would get on me for that. And we'll post that. And there you see we have our first little FireDAC application using Interbase as the database. And let's go look at uh, the tools again. FireDAC Explorer. And here you see test IB we got that by way of adding a new connection definition and then filled in these few fields that had to be filled in plus our driver ID of course of IB for interbase got the login right the database directory or actual database file with full path and uh, let's see what is this protocol you see a TCP IP works I'll apply that we can minimize this Yes, TCP IP works. So, anyway, now let's talk about this a little bit because I'm a longtime user and owner of DevArt's, DevArt.com's uh, Unidac, Universal Data Access Components for Delphi. And what I discovered in trying out different databases with this and creating the connection name and all its properties I found out that um, there are some significant databases that don't have the components that you need to run them with FireDAC. Of course there's two workarounds you, you can do like I do, and that's use DevArt's Unidac, or you can use DBGO, the ADO components, for most of these. So it's not really a big drawback. Um, I like the, the um, FireDAC. Explorer, where it consolidates all your connection definitions, and you just pick one. But uh, that's same one of this. Oh yeah, sorry, they are uh, FireDAC Explorer, and you see it's there's not a lot of stuff you got to fill out. And uh, so here you have it. It's that simple. There's a lot that are predefined that come with uh, FireDAX um, Explorer. But one of the drawbacks is some major databases are not included particularly in the I'm using the community edition which is the free edition and they're not available in professional edition of Delphi or Rad Studio they're only available in enterprise version and uh, the architect version of Rad Studio and that's pretty pricey stuff for something that you can do through DBGO, ADO components, or Unidac uh, components from DevArt. 
I, I don't get anything for them for mentioning them. I just like their components and they're they're very Delphi like. Uh, very easy to set up. So and let's see. I think we'll close this. Go to design. And we'll come down here to Unidac and we'll look at the providers. There are, I counted them, there are 15 database providers. Um, and most of them are ones that you very likely will use. And they have uh, Microsoft SQL. MySQL, Interbase, uh, DBF for old DBase files, DB2 for IBM, ASE, Oracle, PostgreSQL, and um, SQLite. So, uh, and then there's a real nice, um, it's called Entity DAC, and they have a free edition, the Express Edition, I believe it's called, uh, of Entity DAC, that you can do a lot of major stuff with object relational modeling and things like that. So, this is what we got. And I didn't do all the eye candy. That just takes time. Um, but this is what we got. I just think the upgrade to um, Enterprise or Architect Editions of Red Studio are just cost prohibitive and I mean um, I th personally I think uh, Embarcadero is way overdue for a better pricing structure and I've tried to talk to them about that and it falls on deaf ears so I'll keep trying though I think they probably ought to consider going to a reasonable cost subscription system that you could cancel whenever that's what most of the major players are doing so uh, anyway there you have it and I will uh, I've enjoyed doing this for you I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks a lot. Bye.